so far we've worked only with static HTML. This can only display exactly what's written in it. It can't react at all to the user's input, for instance by displaying the results of a particular search or perhaps settings specific to a user's account. To do this, we need to set up your computer to act as a web server. Now whilst we could use a remote web host to host our databases and do all this work online, what we're doing is purely experimental and of no interest to anyone else. We wouldn't really want it to be publicly accessible, so it's much better to do all the work for this project privately on your own computer. As it stands, your computer can't do this. You have to download and configure a bundle of software called XAMP. XAMP is an acronym. The X stands for cross, as in cross-platform, meaning that it runs on a variety of operating systems – Windows, Linux, Mac OS and Solaris. The A stands for Apache, which is the web server underpinning the installation. Apache is the world's dominant web server, powering over a hundred million websites globally, more than any other web server. The M stands for MySQL. MySQL refers both to the database or databases which we're going to be setting up and using to store the data needed to power our website, and to the language we use to communicate with the database, to create databases, to modify their structure, and to add, modify, and delete data. The first of the two P's stands for PHP. In MySQL alone, it's not possible to run commands automatically. Every time we want to run a command, we have to type it in anew. PHP automates the process of running MySQL commands allows us to control our database through a web server and integrates the database with our website. The second P stands for Perl, which we're not going to be using at all in this tutorial. Perl is a general purpose scripting language which is less relevant to our needs than PHP, because PHP is tailored specifically towards building web applications and dynamic database-driven websites. We're going to download XAMP from its website, apachefriends.org. We need to do a little bit of customization. We need to change the time zone so that it matches your location. And finally, we will access and test this server installation in your browser.